We have heard from fans from Kansas City about how this has touched them here at home, but there are also fans who commuted from out of town who now have to take that hurt back with them. KSHB 41 News reporter Rachel Henderson spoke with Chiefs fans who made the journey to a familiar yet surprising new destination. During the parade, I learned just how far Chiefs Kingdom spreads. I flew in from Seattle. I live in Charleston, South Carolina. The kingdom is worldwide and we're just a small part of it from Houston. Then after the shooting, I realized even for those traveling here, the impact still hit close to home. There's Kansas City Chiefs fans everywhere. Javier and Kirsten Salcedo know that from experience. They're KC natives with the Chiefs fan group in Houston. We wanted to meet new people and stuff, so we yeah. started our new family <laughs> down there. <laughs> when they drove up for the parade, they first spent time celebrating. Now they're grieving with their family here. Their niece knew one of the victims, Lisa Lopez Galvan. They were they were like best buds. That was her best friend. So that made it even more uh, the feeling behind it of, of the tragedy and everything, because uh, it's family. When it comes to family, that's all Lindsay Brett can think about. My family still lives there. My sisters still live there. Some of my best friends still live there. She drove three hours from Nixa, Missouri. My, my girlfriend Sarah has her 80 year old parents. Then I've got my 16, my 15 year old, my 18 year old. What comes to mind when you think about all that they've been through and seen already? I mean, their lives are different than ours were. Uh, I grew up without a cell phone, you know, now we're walking around. We can see you know, wounded people in a matter of seconds. When she thinks back on a city she's removed from physically, that emotional tie still lasts. I don't think my opinion has changed of Kansas City. Whether or not this is reality or not, I feel like I know the people. You know, I know that's my home. Rachel Henderson, KSHB 41 News.